All right, we are outside Bill Miller's house right now, about to pull in for this historic meeting. Stand back a little. Mm-hmm. Back in 2011, my friend Gabe and I embarked on an obsessive journey to unearth obscure self-published comics from the 1980s, specifically the wildest and weirdest issues we could find. The goal was to canonize a new genre of DIY outsider art we call Power, Power Comics, Comics, which would spotlight our favorite untrained creators, usually from small regional towns across the continent. But everything changed the day we discovered our holy grail find, Jontar. Originally published in 1986, Jontar tells the charmingly sincere story of a male stripper sanitation worker who, after discovering a disappearing elf in a trash can, embarks on a mystical journey and is reborn as a clumsy, sword-wielding street avenger. Jontar surprisingly ran a total of nine issues from 1986 to 1990. The issues are incredibly rare and it took us years to locate the complete run. The art is crude but wholly singular, and each story features an escalating level of bizarreness from issue to issue. Over the years, we've located some of the original artists that illustrated John Tarr. Thanks for having me, guys. It's a pleasure to be here. Oh my God, the pleasure is ours, my friend. Apparently, there's there's a cult following out there that uh, I didn't know. And eventually, we found John Tarr's enigmatic creator, Bill W. Miller, who resides in rural Watsika, Illinois. Without a computer, internet, or cell phone, Bill communicated with us via typewritten letters and sporadic landline conversations, educating us on the fascinating backstory behind John Tarr's creation, for which over a decade was a complete mystery to us. Our back and forth with Bill eventually led to us republishing the John Tarr series with Portland, Oregon's Floating World Comics, which is now officially in release. After years of correspondence and to celebrate the release of this collection, we wanted to take the opportunity to hand deliver a copy of the complete John Tarr to Bill Miller, meeting him in person for the very first time. To what secco we go. Meeting an elegant mission. Yeah. Okay. Bill, how are you doing? Good. How are you? Watch that step there. You don't trip on it. Okay. How are you doing, Bill? Good. Good to meet you. Good. Sorry, we're already rolling. If that's okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> Bill, Gabe, pleasure to <laughs> meet you, sir. Good to I meet recognize you, you from the uh, from the videos. Yeah, you have the videos. Yeah. Oh. Awesome, All incredible. Right. Here we All are, right. historic meeting. <laughs> <laughs> historic meeting. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you, you sir. Take them off, whatever you want. Appreciate it. Awesome. Wow. Cool. Although Bill has lived in Illinois for nearly forty years, he was born in rural Indiana and was raised on a farm. Oh, really? Yeah. Whoa. Is this in Indiana? Yeah. Now, this is about three hours east of here. Okay. Whoa. Now, that field right there in the corner, that belonged to a neighbor. And then this one way up here belonged to a neighbor, but then we own all the rest of it. Oh, wow. Including those woods, which was my favorite place when I was a kid. Is that your dad there? Yeah. Oh, whoa. Can we see that? I figured that'd catch your eye. So. Yeah, sure did. <laughs> I moved the dog here. Whoa. Nice. Oh. Yeah, that was him during the Second World War. Wow. Billy G. Miller. Billy G. Miller relocated the family to Illinois, where his son Bill's growing interest in comics would eventually inspire him to finance a father-son comic publishing company called Mature Magic Publications, eventually renamed Miller Publishing. There he is. Wow. Wow. 
the godfather of Argon. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that was me and my older sister in uh, the 60s. It was probably like 66 or 67. Wow. Because we couldn't see one word on my... Like, Is that a Batman? Yeah. Oh my God, look at that. Batman sweatshirt. Started very young. Yeah. Under the superheroes. <laughs> Adam West days. Um, what about your comics? That's not here. Oh, okay. <laughs> I gotta see that. I have a feeling you have a few. I don't know why I think that, but... Oh, I started collecting oh. mostly in the uh, early 70s. First time? Yeah. yeah, I was going to show that to you. Have you I guys know. heard of that? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Definitely. Here is the inspiration, one of the inspirations for John Carlos and Fights. Oh, York City oh my God, Dad. it all comes together. I can't believe it. So I had never heard of New York City Outlaws. Still have not seen a copy to this day. Oh, I should have brought you some. Oh. I will mail you some, I promise. Okay. So, <laughs> so I don't know who these characters are or, you know, anything. But that guy always, you know, made me think of uh, Conan. You know, from, yeah? from that what if issue where the, sure. he came into the 20th century. Mm -hmm. And so... Wow. Yeah. And I think I might have already started creating the John Tar character, but I didn't, like, have the uh, barbarian... Yeah. Motif, yeah. Yeah. Where, and then when I seen that, well, that kind of clipped, so. Wow. And I just noticed this the other night. He's even got a garbage can behind him. <laughs> which I did not notice that at the time. <laughs> it was a couple years later when I come up with, you know, like he was going to be a garbage collector. Right. Right. Like I, I told you that one interview. Yeah. I just set out the garbage. Oh, my and God. I was trying to think, you know, uh, what? Well, what's his day job? Okay, he's a garbage collector. Yeah, sure. I told Evan, I said, if I went to the bathroom first, he might have been a plumber. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the funny thing is that Gabe and I, when we started collecting like indie 80s comics, uh -huh. the two comics that we collected were John Tarr and New York City Outlaws. And to find <laughs> to find out that they are connected. Well, they, I mean, they are in the same universe. You know? Yeah. They're very super power barbarians you know yeah and from that same time period too exactly. you know? yeah totally bill shared with us the comics that inspired his work various fanzine articles he had written when he was younger the various comic newspapers where he would recruit artists for john tar in the classified sections but it was finally time to show bill his first ever look at the newly released the complete john tar all right so this is my life <laughs> this is it this is after a uh I guess it's been, how long has it been since we've been talking about this? Like a few years, maybe? A couple years, yeah. I mean, it takes a while to get these things out. But um, here it is, let me... Uh... And I have to confess, there was a couple of times that I thought, ah, oh, this ain't gonna pan out, it's just another... <laughs> another one of these things? So. There we go, there's some stickers in there from the publisher, of course. Right, cool. Yeah. Whoa! Okay. <laughs> 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 what do you think? Yeah, that's just the cover. <laughs> that's just the cover, and then it's got the, the foil treat it, the treatment. Uh, and then you can see the back. Uh -huh. And that's the back. Cool. Yeah. Wow. The complete John Tar. Yeah. <laughs> and the spine's cool, too. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so Yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah. I want to see my Mike Myers impression. Yeah. I'm not worthy, I'm not worthy. <laughs> oh, Mike Myers. I was like, Michael Myers. <laughs> I could do that too. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, okay, here you go. Here you go, take a look. First look. Oh, cool. Yeah. Oh. I wish my dad could see this. I know, me too. Initial thoughts? What are the initial thoughts? <laughs> I can't believe you guys like this enough to do this. <laughs> oh my god. Well, we do. We love it. <laughs> Clearly. Yeah, what does your family think of John Todd? Like you said, you said, Well, my dad was the biggest fan of it. Oh, that's awesome. He was the one that was most into it. Sure. Uh, the rest of my family were really not comic fans. Sure. But now the biggest thing is my uh, my kid's sister, mm -hmm. which still lives around here. Oh. She told me, she said, when I told her that, you know, this book was coming out, she said, I want one. And that formed it because, like, she had never been interested in them. Oh, my God. oh that's she cool. Got, she's got to get one. Yeah, yeah the whole but she thing. She told my uh, other sister, uh, 
that lives in Indianapolis about this. And she said, and the thing is, is Bill didn't go to them. They came to him. <laughs> I think that made a difference. Like, you know, proof that somebody actually likes it because they came to me. Yeah. Tell them we flew from New York City. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah. But before we parted ways with Bill, he wanted to inscribe copies of the complete John Tar to us. Let me see. To Evan, a friend from afar who searched me out and found me. Keep the magic alive, Bill W. Miller. That's perfect. Thank you. Wow, I love that. Yeah. When the when the John Tar fans see this video, they're going to be very excited. Is there anything you want to say to the John Tar fans that are watching, that will be watching? Thank you very, very much. Yeah. What's your what's your what's your takeaway on this? What do you think of seeing this in, 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 in person for the first time? I think it's worth buying. <laughs> <laughs>